What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. So when I got my 27 GTR, the, the previous owner did a weird thing and created a hole in the driver's side carpet. So I have to figure out how to get that fixed. You'll see some B-roll right now where I'll show you what it looks like, but you can see, I guess it's from driving too much or wearing down the carpet a lot, but he basically created a hole in the carpet. Now also I didn't get a driver's side mat with the transaction. So I actually ordered these WeatherTech floor mats. They're actually pretty cheap. I think like a hundred or so dollars or $120 shipped. And so we're gonna go and install them, cover them temporarily until I can figure out a fix for that carpet. So in this video, we're gonna unbox a brand new set of WeatherTech floor mats, install them, and do a quick review for the WeatherTech floor mats for a 2017 Nissan GTR. Let's get into the video. So here are the WeatherTech floor mats. I already installed the passenger side. So you can see it's a nice cup design. So the dirt kind of just stays on the top here, which is really nice. It does unfortunately have these like cheesy WeatherTech stickers. Oh, okay, it looks like I can actually take them off, which is pretty nice. So I can take off the labeling, but then it would just be like an empty square right here. So I have seen that you can get like a GTR titanium like plate right here as well. So I might look into that before I take these off because I feel like if I take them off right now, then there's just gonna be like a sticky residue underneath it. So let's hop over to the driver's side so I can show you what those look like installed onto the GTR. Here's the driver's side WeatherTech floor mats. You can see kind of the same idea. It wraps around the sides. It even covers the clutch plate, I guess, or like whatever that plate is called to the left a little bit. Uh, the one thing here, it doesn't necessarily rise on the driver's side or the seat side, so the dirt can kind of get underneath there. But here's the, you can see under there, there's the hole that I was talking about in which he basically wore down the carpet, the OEM carpet that's underneath the floor mat. So I don't know how much that's gonna cost to actually get that replaced, but it's kind of interesting too, because you, def you definitely don't want any moisture down there to get stuck down there, because then I guess it could probably cause some damage underneath the car, but pretty nice floor mats. Uh, I mean, really good for only a hundred bucks. I mean, I did find a set of OEM carpet ones that were over a hundred dollars. So it's not a bad deal for all weather floor mats in my opinion. On these WeatherTech floor mats, of course it's branded WeatherTech right here. And I was just thinking, is there a way to kind of replace these because they come off pretty easily. And I noticed that you can kind of see that it comes off. It's just a base, it comes off pretty easily. It's just a rubberized kind of sticker. So of course I found online that you can buy custom stickers to replace those. And so you can take them off pretty easily and then replace them with whatever you want. And they actually have them for all the different types of brands like Subaru, Honda, or Nissan, and all these other makes and models as well. And it's actually pretty cheap. I think this set was, I guess it's not necessarily too cheap, but it was like 18 bucks off of Etsy. I'll paste a link below so you can buy them and check it out for yourself. But yeah, it's way better looking than a WeatherTech logo and now you're gonna rock the car that you drive. Yeah, so it's pretty easy. All you do is take off the old WeatherTech sticky and then you put in the GTR one and it sticks right into place. And it, the one thing I noticed with this one, it doesn't necessarily fill out the whole entire box, but it, I mean, it definitely looks a lot better than rocking the WeatherTech logo. And now it matches the GTR on the outside and around the car as well. So it actually looks really good. So yeah, these are the floor mats that I got for my Nissan GTR, and I have similar floor mats in my Tesla Model 3 as well, but not WeatherTech. And I actually really like these floor mats. I've had them for about a month or two now, and I really like how they wrap around the sides, and they're pretty cheap too. They're only like $100 or $120 with tax shipped, which is pretty cheap in comparison to OEM Nissan floor mats. When I was searching for them, I could only find used ones for about $100, and new ones upwards of $200 to $300. So these WeatherTech floor mats for only $100 
100 bucks is actually really good. I'll paste the link below to the ones that I order off of WeatherTech directly. Unfortunately, through my research, WeatherTech doesn't really discount. There are wholesale dealers that you can work with to get a discount, but I just purchased it off of WeatherTech themselves. But yeah, thanks for watching another video, guys. Please hit that like if you enjoyed it and comment below on what you think of the WeatherTech floor mats or if you found a better option for your own GTR that you like a lot better. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.